Hey everybody. Um, I just came here to say that I am not doing okay. I am not. I am. Um, you know, I've been through a lot, and I just lost my cousin, and I'm. I'm trying to get through it the best way I can. Um. But I will be okay. I'm just trying to get my mentality back together. I talk to my counselor tomorrow, and I um been reading the Bible and listening to a lot of Christian stuff today. Um, I just want to let y'all know that that's the reason why I haven't really been on here doing nothing much, except for maybe posting a few things here and there. But I have been only doing no um sincere right now or anything like that i'm just trying to get myself put together so but you know it's okay not to be okay and i know something sometimes god let thing god god let lets things happen to renew our strength so i don't know and he knows that i've been running from him for from him for a while now you know, sometimes you get lost in this world and you um, forget who you belong to. <laughs> or, you know, you let the world overcome. You love the world more than you love God. And you think you're going to be okay without him. And the truth is, you're really not. And he does things to lead people back to him. I'm not saying that he did this to bring me back to him, but I don't know. I I don't know about any things anymore. Um, I, I don't know. I guess we mainly have to realize that God gives people to us to love. And when it's their time to go, it's just their time to go. You know, because they are his children first. And even though they're our cousins or our uncles or aunts or grandmothers, whoever they might be, they were his children first. And whatever happens is between him and them and not us, you know. I just know that he's always there. Even though they leave us, he doesn't. And a Bible verse hit me today, which is to be present. I mean, to be absent from the body is to be present with the with the Lord. And... There's other ones, too, that are written down that say, um, you know, you know, Psalms 131 says, Oh, Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too voice for me. John, John 11 25 says, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. And then another Bible verse says, I have no fear of sudden disaster or the runs that will overtake the wicked. For the Lord will be by your side and will keep your keep you keep your foot from being snarled. So all that basically states that he's always with us no matter what happens. And that we should not concern ourselves with stuff that happens that are for our broken control. It took me a while to realize that myself, but I'm trying. I know that my family that has passed away wouldn't want me being sad or depressed all the time. They want me to keep up and get moving. And this for everybody else, I believe your family would want that too. 
they want you to keep getting up and keep moving. I do believe that our families are still watching down over us. And the Bible talks about their being a veil in heaven for them to see us. And you know, the great cloud of witnesses. And I believe that they're there. So. You know. I guess. I don't know. Lord, I don't know. You know. I know that even though I didn't get to meet my cousin that passed away, I do believe that one day, when it's my time to go and I get in heaven, I'll be able to meet her. I believe that I'll be able to meet my other sister that I didn't get to meet. Because she died before I was able to meet her. I believe that God does have a purpose for everything. Whether we don't understand it because I, I really don't understand death. I am. Um, I have a problem with death. I don't, um, I don't get it, you know. I get mostly emotionally attached to people. I love them dearly and then when something happens to them, it breaks me down, especially death. I was introduced at death, to death at a young age, you know. My Aunt Bobby passed away from a massive heart attack. I found her. She was dead in the bed and I was the one to find her. For a long time, I figured, I figured that if I would have stayed with her instead of going <sighs> to ask my memo if I could have a friend spend the night, she would still be alive. But then I learned that even though I, if I would have stayed, it would have been worse if I would lay there and Laid there with her and just watched. Her take that last breath. I strongly believe today that they are with him. Um, you know, and you never know really what goes on, you know. Say if you lost somebody that wasn't saved. But you never really know. You never really know what happens. Whenever the last moments are. Because I still believe that even though some people do wrong or you know choose their own way of life, own way of life. I mean, that God does give them a chance to explain themselves before He just sends us to hell. You know, because Jesus did it, died on the cross for everybody's sins. You know, um, I just, I don't know. Grief can be really exhausting. I stayed up five nights crying. <laughs> um, I have to realize that I'm not the only one that goes through this. Other people have lost loved ones too. Not just me. I... I don't know. I just wanted to get on here and talk for a minute. And tell people where my head was at. Um, I don't know what else to say. I think I'm going to get off here for now. Um, yeah. 
And I hope you all have a good day and have a blessed day. And always remember that God is always by your side no matter what happens and you're never really alone. And he will always pick you back up.